Welcome to the zombie circus, everybody. We have a very nice thing for you today. We have some deep fried zombie brains new to the circus. So if you'd like to try that, it's over there at the end of the uh, the circus over there. I think it's only about six or ten tickets over there. But yeah, who are we up against? Mouse Room Wonder. Okay, I like that. But yes, welcome to the zombie circus. I hope everyone has a good time. That's what we're here to. So we've got Swamp, Soul Ring. Yeah, we're going to keep. This is good. I like it. Got Forgotten Creation, too. Get into some quick cards. Let's get our commander back up. There you go. Stay up there, Grimgrin. So let's crack this Bloodstain. Let's grab a Underground Sea. Get down this Soul Ring. Now, we've got a bunch of mana in Dark Steel, and then we have Forgotten Creation. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw that many cards. So, uh, I can get behind that. So, we're looking to get down an early. Well, let's see. Let's go. Let's get down to Island. And so we'll have reassembling, reassembling skeleton in our graveyard for Grim Grin. Let, before we get down Forgotten Creation, let's let's just get down the Dark Steel Ignit. Get down the skeleton. And then we're gonna start pitching our hand to the uh, Forgotten Creation. See what we can't draw into. Yeah, this is Grim Grim right here. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, uh, it doesn't untap. We have to sack a creature to untap it, and then we get to put a plus one count on it. And then whenever it attacks, we get to destroy target creature, defending player controls. Playing Monster Room Wonder, uh, whenever it has ha creatures you control have haste, and it has Cascade, Cascade. So it gets down Nissa, okay. So let's go... Let's get down Forgotten Creation. Tap right there. Let's get down to Mirror Aqueduct. Bounce the island back to our hand. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have six mana. It should be enough for Grim Grin. And I'd like to discard these three to get into something else. Definitely on board with that, discarding our hand. This, as far as Grim Grin goes, this is um, not super heavy zombie tribal. It's just a bunch of zombie good stuff, is, is what I would call it. Got the uh, the archive over there. If you gain live game twice, if you draw a card, except the first one, draw two cards. Okay. Uh-oh, sick right there <laughs> with that brainstorm. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to discard our hand. Draw three. Get into Ancient Tombs, the DC. Okay. So we'll get down... Let's get down to Ancient Tomb. And we'll go and swing in Forgotten Creation. Now our opponent's online for Metalcraft with Mox Opal, so he'll be able to tap for blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's still two away from his Wanderer. Now we could Sidisi for a card. I'm trying to think what would give us the best bet against the uh, Maelstrom. Maelstrom. So really swinging in for three right now. Let's get some Sidisi action going. Pay for two off a of soul ring. Exploit the skeleton, because he can reassemble. When you use our ability, what do we want to search up? Now. No, whenever you ca cascade is whenever you cast. It's not an enter the battlefield trigger. We can get into some living death. We don't really have much going on as far as the, uh, our graveyard goes. But, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of mana for Dread Summons. That sounded pretty good. I may just grab a uh, Undead War Chief. And give our, uh, 
give our creatures a big old boost. Um, we could do flesh bag, or we can do buried on. Well, let's go. We get down reef worm. We'll get into a nine nine. I, think I like that. Then we'll have a sack outlet for Grim Grim. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead reform because we can turn that reform into a 9 9. Hold off his commander if we need to. And we could have pitched it for a living death, but we just have like reassembling skeleton in there, so. So it finally runs into blue mana, but he had Mox Opal online. But next turn, we'll probably. Get down reef worm. No, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We play our land, that'll be nine. So we'll have actually have just enough to get down reef worm and grim grin. He gets down Gurik. You can untap two lands. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that because it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine with our swamp making the play or our watery grave. Grim grin costs five, reef worm costs four. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll end up with Grim Grim and a 9-9. Nine nine. And then we can start stacking and uh, we'll need to take care of the uh, the Nissa. But well, to be honest, if it flips, I'm, it's not that big of a deal. And then we're going to go ahead and return the uh, skeleton to the battlefield. Okay, there we go. We're not going to discard now. We're good, man. Appreciate it, though. Thanks for gotten creation. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I like the May abilities. You may discard your hand if you want to in Forgotten Creations. Like, I'm like, no, nah, we're good. Okay, like he's a little bit disappointed. <laughs> and then if our opponent passes the turn, then we can uh, get into some Grim Grin and some Reform action. Not sure what he's doing. Just give him a little ping real quick. Oh, there you go. He got it. Okay. So drawn to Urborg. So let's get down Urborg. Let's get down Groom Grim first. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so get down Groom Grim. Get down a reef worm. And we can swing in with forgot Forgotten Creation does have Skulk. So we can swing in. We might trade on the beast token, but uh, I'd like to get rid of his Gurk for the uh his untap ability. We're just waiting on our opponent right now to click OK. I don't know if he's double queuing or he's playing another commander game. But once Grim Grim hits the battlefield, then we're going to get down to reform because we have that one colorless floating. We'll be able to tap Demir Aqueduct for two. And two. There we go. Tap, there we go. Tap for two. Get down to reform. Okay, that sounds good to me, man. So let's... Yeah, I'm going to go and swing in with Forgotten Creation. Maybe we might lose out on the on the discard. I would like to have that, but uh, we'll make it work. Yeah, so we'll swing in with Forgotten Creation, swing in with Sidisi, going at Gurik. That way at least one of them will connect unless he... Uh, yeah, we're we'll going to attack with the Resembling Skeleton. we we'll get him back out there for cheap. So we're bringing in the zombie squad, coming in hot. Reassembling skeleton. I don't know, he looks like a just a funny skeleton. You can go hang out with him on a Friday night. Got my big old sword. Clothes don't fit that good. Gets down Snapcaster. Okay. Blocks on this, uh... 
Snapcaster, and the Beast Token. Okay, we're okay with that. We'll be able to, next turn, sack a creature, gets plus one, plus one, untap it. So we can actually make Grim Grin, once we sack all the, the reform at our turn, that'll be one, two, three, so it'll go to an 8-8, eight, eight, swing in for 12, 21, yeah, I like this. Let's see if he gets his commander down, though, see if he cascades into something. But we can uh, use Grim Grin to sack that reform and get into a 9-9. Nine, nine. Day's Undoing, okay. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a fresh card of hands, I mean a f fresh hand of cards, I will take that. We can do Mirror Mockery, Diagraph. We can get down Diagraph to amplify uh, Grim Grin. We can get down Undead Alchemist. Okay, he's got seven cards in hand. I don't know what he drew into, but uh, Sack the Reef Worm. 33 fish, untap it, get a plus one counter. We'll see if he has any. If he has any type of response, he's going to do it now. If not, then we'll be able to get into a three three six six into a nine nine. Get down Diagraph and Undead Alchemist, and then we can uh, we can mirror mockery on something. But there's nothing really that looks too pleasing out there. I love the tokens, man. That's uh. That's really cool. Actually, Grim Grim sacked the fish. <laughs> Turns into a 6-6 six, six whale. <laughs> Feels good, man. Let's turn this whale into a Kraken while we're at it. Yeah. And I love how they're each in the background. Man, that's so... I love it when magic... Yeah, that's cool, man. So it's the fish right there. Each one's eating another one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got some damage coming across next turn. Let's play Swamp. Let's get down Diagraph. Tap for the colored mana. And let's get down Undead Alchemist. Now we can mirror mockery on Sadisi. Exploit the token. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. I don't really want to copy his his wanderer. And then let's get down undead alchemist. Tap for two. Is that a... Oh, okay. Whew. I got worried it was like a Cyclonic Rifter. I know he didn't have enough mana for it, but I still got a little worried. So we get an Undead Alchemist. So we're going to be able to swing in, blow up his Nyssa. Swing in with Sadisi, Grimgrin, and the Kraken. And we're, we're going to face right now. It's face time. So we're going to get the Grimgrin activation on Nyssa. We're going to get the... Copy, yes. We're going to exploit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, f I forgot she's legendary. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I like to keep teen, uh, clean type magic. I forgot she was legendary. So we're going to keep the uh, this one right here. We, we still get the exploit activation. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I, I, I did mess up. But we can exploit on the... I'm not too worried about Mill. Well, oh, yeah, let's... Um, let's wait until we get into some zombies. So it still works the way... Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm a little ahead of myself. Alright, coming in. Hopefully we get some zombies off that undead. Yeah! Yes! 
Looking good. Alright, now that we've got these zombies right here, we can start exploiting them with Diagraph out there. Every time they lose, he's going to lose a life, we're going to gain a life. And he might be able to get into some uh, Maelstrom like shenanigans right now, but I like where we're at right now. So, now with these zombies, okay, Mirror Mockery, it still worked out the way I'm working. So we can exploit, uh, we'll keep this one right here, then we can exploit one of the zombie creatures. So whenever that happens, then we can still search our library up for something. In fact, let's, while he's doing that, I'm going to look and see, Mana Reflection, if you type, okay, so he's got twice. Click OK, there you go, buddy. Is there anything that we can search up that really closes it out? We do have Shepherd of Rot, but we need Haste to close it out. Um, do have Mirror Match. We can get into Patriarch's Bidding. Hmm. We have Rite of Replication. We can get into that with CDC. Well, and I'm just going to close the graveyard out right now. We don't really have much graveyard action going. If we get some more graveyard stuff going, I'll expand it. Untap target. Untap uh, Gilded Lotus. <laughs> oh man, he's getting some. Uh, he's getting some nice mana over there. He's got doubling season down. What is he? T I wonder if he's going for his commander right now. That's 10 mana, and he's tapping. Okay, so he's get, he gets his, he's going to Cascade twice. Let's see what he gets into. He gets into Winter Orb. Okay, that, that, that stinks, but uh, we'll make it work. We can get behind that. Oath of Druid. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's one I'm not too, uh, too thrilled about. And I think... He'll be able to tap that for extra mana and have like four mana, but I think he's tapped out other than that. Oath of Druids, beginning of each pledge, upkeep that player chooses a target who controls more creatures than he or she does. Okay. So he's only got blue red and he's got command tower. So next turn we can attack, blow up one of his creatures, be swinging in for five. I would assume he's going to block on Grim Grin. Dax Duplicate. <laughs> okay, man. He gets into some Dax Duplicate. Comes into Grim Grin. Comes into play tap, though. So we're looking at 5, 10, 12. Untap it. Okay, so it has haste and dethrone, so it's going to swing in. Swing in for 17. Sacks the Birds of Paradise to it. Now, what does he blow up? He could go for a Grim Grin. Okay, he's going for a Grim Grin. Looking at 11, drop us down to 22. And he doesn't have Trample. May just throw... A zomp well, hold on, let's see what we got going on next turn. So we're looking at five, seven, twelve, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. We're looking at thirty, so I am not gonna block right now, so I, he'll have to block with his commander next turn and we'll be getting a lot more undead alchemist triggers. So I'd rather keep that zombie. Untap the Demir Aqueduct. Yeah, let's go. We're going, we're going to go and swing in. We can mirror mockery with something, but uh, we should be okay. We've got enough right now. So we're going to put... Yeah, use his... No, nah, we'll be okay. So we're swinging in. We've got 5, 7, 
That's 12 right there, 21, 24, 27, 30. So that's 30 right there. He's going to have to block on one. Maybe he blocks on CDC. But we should get a lot of mill action and a lot of zombies. Because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now he will get another chance to if he kills his commander right now, but we have lethal right now if he doesn't block right, so kind of had to do it. All right, so he blocks right there. Okay. So let's get Grim Grim back up. Grim Grim costs seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get Grim Grim down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now, we have Diagraph out there. Whenever a zombie you control dies, uh, our opponent loses a life. Um, we have a free sack outlet in Grim Grin. So we've got, right now, let's let him do his Oath of Druid. So we've got three, six, seven, eight right there. So if his life total goes down, we have that. What does he get into? Zendikar Research? No. Oh, Phantasmal Image. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know what happened. So he Phantasmal Images are an undead alchemist. But if he wants to swing with Grim Grin, he's going to have to sacrifice it. So we're okay right there. He's tapping for a lot of mana. Let's see what he's getting into. Untap Gilded Lotus. Yeah, we do have one, two. Well, I don't know if it'll count itself, so it'll be one, four. We have seven damage that we can, or seven loss of life off the, uh, the trigger. Rattleclaw Mystic. Okay, I'll take that off a of cascade. And what else? What did you? Sylvan Library. Okay, I'll take that, man. I will take that. Now he can use Grim Grin to uh, untap his Rattle Claw. He has Dak Faden. He can gain control of our Soul Ring. Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to. Uh... All right. If he's digging with Dak Faden, I like that. And we'll be able to untap Demir Aqueduct. Have one, two, three, four, five. Well, five mana. And we've got six. Well, let's wait and see how he swings before we start doing combat damage. But at least we've got uh, three, six, nine, eighteen. We've got twenty-seven points of damage and tokens right now. The undead alchemist makes it thirty-two. Diagraph makes it thirty-four. He'll be able to block three. Let's just—it really kind of depends on what he does this turn. Let's see if he's trying to set up a defensive turn. Maybe we can draw into something that costs five. Because he's almost in a weird spot to where he has to like sack and then attack with Grim Grim to get rid of our Grim Grim. And I don't know if he wants to go down that low on creatures. And another thing we have to watch out for is his uh, Wanderer. I don't know if we're going to give him another Cascade Cascade. So re really we're just kind of waiting to see what he does this turn. And then we can kind of see what we're going to do. Because we can't just swing in with the zombies, and whenever if they all die from Diagraph, because he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If he blocks right there, untaps. But the, yeah, he'll just go down a blocker. Okay, so he's gonna fire up Grim Grin at least for right now. Get him untapped.
Now he swings in. I would assume he takes out our Grim Grin. That's what I was, that my assumption is going to be. But we're going to have to wait and see what it'll be. See the unwritten. All right, man. Hopefully, you don't hit anything too crazy. Did he just whiff on that? I think. <laughs> I guess he did. I'm not. I'm not totally sure. He doesn't have any creatures on the battlefield. All right, so he's swinging in. Swinging with the team, so he can destroy target creature. And it has dethrone. We're looking at 20, 24. So we do have to block. So, we, okay, so he's going for Grim Grin. Okay, so we're going to block right there block right there let him get in for seven that way he doesn't get the uh, the zombies off the mill effect he's still gonna lose two live and we've been dealt how much commander damage so we're looking at only seven commander damage okay So right now, we've got 14, 17. Tap the, untap the Demir Aqueduct. Okay, so is he tapped out? Yeah, it looks like he's tapped out. So we've got um, 7, 16. Should have enough. And we'll have enough off the zombies dying tree. Yeah, we should have enough to close it out. So we're going to get this down. Come in hot with the team. Yeah, because even if he blocks on two of the zombies, so we're looking at 3612 right there. Should be game, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, he's tapped out. Coming in hot with the look at that Motley crew right there. We've got a bunch of zombies. We've got a Kraken in the mix somehow. Unofficial zombie. Somebody married into the Kraken family, so he's just been always in there. Okay, so untaps Grim Grin. Let's see. So he blocks on the Kraken. Blocks right there. Blocks on Death Touch, okay. I did, yeah, I forgot you can untap with that. Okay. But, we'll still get some zombies. Choose him. Okay, so we're going to get down Swamp. No, we already played our land for the turn. So we're going to get down Lightning Greaves. Put Lightning Greaves on one of our zombies. We'll be able to block right there, and that'll be two, four, six. We'll be at ten damage right there. Swing across next turn, and that way he won't be able to kill it with his Grim Grin trigger, and he'll still have to sack. Now he can sack his Maelstrom Wanderer to Grim Grin. Well, he's already untapped, so he can swing in and blow it up. But at least he can't blow up that zombie. Okay, so he's got some Bird of Paradise action. We can just uh, get into some, some draw action or something, man. But yeah, it's officially drunk time. When you've got Winter Orb down, Oath of Druid, Sylvan Library, Dak Faden, Voltaic Key, <laughs> Manor Reflection, Gurk Wildspeaker. We're both at 14 and 15. It is officially magic junk time. Congratulations. Okay, now what are you getting into, man? Yeah, 
Yeah, man, I, I'm not a huge fan of Winter War, but uh, it's not a... I don't like playing with it. But with the Mana Reflections, it's pretty good. I'm trying not to shift the screen around too much, but we're also trying to say, okay, he's down Snapcaster. What are you getting into? Blow this graveyard back up for a second. See what that Snapcaster's targeting. Time Shrek. Take two extra turns after this one. Okay, man. Does he have enough men? Yeah, he can Voltaic Key, Gilded Lotus. Oh, the humanity, yes, but yeah, what a drug out game, man. Winter Orb, doubling season. Yeah, if he's taking two extra turns, he's got it. We will graciously take this. I'll just uh, save the unstap stack. Step, let him swing in. Okay, it takes two extra turns. Get down some Edric action. And if he just swings in with Get Rob, we're just not Get Rob, good with the Groom Grand. We're just gonna let him have it. Oh man, that was uh, man, what a good game, man. That was um, that last one I did last time. I, I forgot he could untap and Grim Grin, and but uh, you know, kind of got to go for it sometimes. And let's see. Oh, I, he got down a Karn. I didn't even see that. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Karn's coming in hot. Good game, man. Let him know. Just combat. Good game, man. Finish me out combat if you want to. Wild evocation. Okay, swinging in hot. You got it, man. Swinging hot with it. You know, you can let Edric tag if you want to. Good game, man. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.